today is finally the day. Today is Monday, that means one, it's Victoria's birthday, and two, she and I get back from New York tomorrow. So, daily vlogs will be back on Wednesday, and we'll be back to normal from there, and we're gonna get this done as soon as possible. Again, thank you to my sponsors of the channel. I, uh, it's a huge, huge thank you to all you guys. Y'all are awesome. I'm gonna try and interact with you guys as much as possible, get you guys a sneak peek on this before everybody else gets to see it. So if you wanna see that, the sponsor channel is available. But, today's finally the day. I'm um, not really having, well actually, two really, really big deals. One, gonna be trying to mount the turbo, and actually two, I'm supposed to get that flange for the downpipe. If you guys missed last week's video, they basically sent me the wrong size V-band flange on my downpipe to the turbo, to the uh, discharge right there. Also, I'm also getting my wastegate back today, completely my fault, and I guess four, really big day, we're finally getting rid of the Mercedes and getting our Porsche back. I also had some time to work on the Lexus this week, which was awesome. I finally got these passenger side harnesses in, which I've been waiting on for forever. I did some more stuff with the alignment, and it was just, it's ready to go, and I'm ready to drive this at the next event. And I've been doing some more research on single turbo stuff with this. I'm gonna get an exhaust manifold ASAP, and get a turbo ASAP, and a fuel system ASAP. And we're gonna get this thing moving as soon as this car is done. Also have no idea how long this W58 is gonna last, so probably gonna be dropping a newborn child onto this car. It's gonna be worth. I'm gonna give you guys my overall assessment of this Benz, okay? Obviously Mercedes has some great brand recognition and a lot of loyalty, but dude, let me tell you what. I've been driving this car for over a week now. It's not good. The quality might look pretty decent on camera, but dude, Mercedes, what are y'all doing? This literally, I would rather drive a Honda Accord than this. This is a 2017, doesn't have a backup camera. Oh, uh, you actually have to use a key fob to open the door, which I have never had a luxurious car. Like this car is like 60 grand new. Pretty sure he's dropping off car parts for me. It's got no air conditioned seats or anything. It's literally the basest, basicest plastic I've ever seen. Like. All this is cheap. The sound system is absolute butt cheeks. The steering wheel, it's, it feels so plasticky and fake and it feels like I'm driving a Toyota Camry, so. I usually love every car that I'm in, but I can't say that I'm not excited to get rid of this car and get my Porsche back. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just so tired of this car. It's, it's not, it's, I miss my Porsche. You miss the Porsche? So much. Okay, boys, we are back. And again, I'm not one to complain. I have a huge thanks to uh, Metroplex for taking really good care of us, and at least they gave us a Mercedes. We could have uh, gone home with a, what's a, just a, we could have taken a Prius home. Hi. We could have taken a Prius home. Thank you guys, either way. I'm not one to complain. It's still great, but I miss my Porsche. Oh man, I missed this car. Oh, this interior and these seats. We are definitely spoiled. And that startup. All right, we gotta make sure that this works. Yay! Hey. All right, that wouldn't roll down. What? Pull up again. Pull up? Yay, that oh, works too. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. That's pretty tight. One thing I was gonna say about this car is uh, since, we, since we drove the Trackhawk, it makes me really wanna tune this car. So if you guys, have any idea or any like plugs or pe companies you prefer in Dallas that can tune this car. I've heard that you can get a, an extra 100 horsepower out of this just from a tune. So if there's any good people, plug them or let them know about me and have them contact me because I'd love to get this car tuned. Having over 600 would be pretty tight. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> so much better. Sport mode. <laughs> I love having a fast car. It's so fun. Speaking of fast, that was just part one of today. Like I said, hoping we get the flange in really soon, but I am going to, uh, I'm gonna try and get the turbo mounted on the exhaust manifold. So um, I'm gonna try and bolt it on. I wanna get some more stuff buckled in today. I'm really trying to get this turbo build done as quickly as I can, because it's not a complicated process, but we just unfortunately had some hiccups. It's so nice to have this car back, and it's time to start working a little bit on this guy. Now, I'm a little too close to that. Hello. I'm not sure if my flange is here yet. I'm gonna check the mail real quick. Oh, 
Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, let's go. Um, some of you might know what this is. If you don't, um, close your eyes. I'm not really one to rub my freedom in anybody's face, but this is, uh, I've been waiting for this little accessory for a while now, and it's so cool. You can't actually have a, you can, you can't actually have a vertical foregrip or a stock on anything less than 16 inches. So this is eight and a half inch, and so I've got a pistol buffer tube and this, so it's legal. This is officially, this is my AR pistol, guys, and it's so sick. So I gotta admit, I'm a little nervous. I, um, I've been doing a lot of research and I'm working with, I'm not gonna tell you who com which company, but uh, I've been working with a company <laughs> to get custom three-piece wheels made for the Evo. And I'm stoked about that, but I'm a little nervous because I've, I've been doing so much research and I've, I've tried to be so incredibly particular about the, the perfect sizing. So I'm getting over, I'm gonna get over fenders for this car just cause I, I like the way that these over fenders look that I'm gonna get. It's gonna extend them out by 20 millimeters so I can get a, pr a little bit lower offset wheel but I want to do something like really thick and meaty, but also really aggressive. And I'm just, I'm not scared, but like, I'm just, I want to get the most perfect look out of the car possible. I'm really excited. Like these are 18 by 10 and a half plus 30. And I want to have a super like, I'm not gonna, I don't want to get too much away, but mm. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It's my first time getting, it's my first time spending, like I'm going to spend this much money on wheels. I need to make them absolutely perfect. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to this. I'm still waiting on the, uh, I don't know where UPS is. Hopefully they don't get here late, but I've got the uh, manifold on, if you guys missed that video. Manifold is on and held on by I think one or maybe two bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the manifold on the rest of the way today because I don't think I'm going to be needing to take that off. I really just wanna get the turbo mounted up and I wanna see if there's enough room in there. If I need to clock it at all and just, a, I guess, a couple things here and there. What it looks like is I might have to take off maybe some heat shields or something. Like this little shield down there, I don't really know what that is, but that might have to come off. Pretty simple from here on out. It's basically bolting stuff up, but the problem is I'm not, I don't know exactly what to do with the plumbing, so I need to get the turbo in, and especially while I have some downtime for the downpipe to get made and stuff like that. I need to basically get the turbo in and see what lines I need to run and where, a lot of stuff to consider. I don't really know what this little piece is, but I'm not gonna use it again, so I just went ahead and took it took it off. No, it's not in the way. All right, now that the manifold is on there, ugh, it's not coming off at all, no leaks. I'm gonna go ahead and put the studs in for the turbo. <sighs> My favorite box. Where is the turbo stuff? Where the turbo stuff? Where did turbo... Ah, here she is. So now I'm taking the studs and putting a little bit of thread lock on them and tightening them. I've already got two on, but I'm basically just tightening up into there. And then once I do that, I should be able to slide the turbo right on and see if it bolts up. There we go. Studs are in. Time to see if this turbo fits. Here we go, boys. The first time that this big guy is gonna sit in this car. I'm gonna go ahead and get under the car so I have a little bit of leverage. And I'm gonna carry this thing, this heavy sucker, over my head and hopefully try and put this on the brackets. Okay. Yep, nope, nope. That turbo is way too massive to get it at it from under there, so I'm gonna have to try it. Maybe get a little more creative, maybe from right here. Nope, just like I thought, that is 100% in the way. So I gotta take that little shield off. Still not UPS. Second time FedEx has been here. And also, well, that's not what was supposed to happen, but it's still effective. So I finally found that little shield, got it all off. It was literally just a something attached to the transfer case that I have no idea. So now this turbo will easily go, it should easily go on, I should say. Yep, this right here is as close as I can get it. Oh, without, uh, without clocking it. It's there, because that right there is uh, tapping the transfer case. I, uh, I can't seem to move it. The awesome thing about this turbo is it is fully clockable. Some turbos, I mean, I guess technically any turbo is kind of clock clockable, but you see these bolts right here. This, uh, this, 
the intake housing right here is fully clockable and what that means is they can basically I can freely, freely rotate it as much as I need to. I need this little guy, this little spewy boy right here, I need to move it up to about right here. And all I have to do is just undo these, four, I guess these are 14s, undo these 14s to make them a little bit looser and the housing should move freely, extremely easily. That's a 13. And the nice thing is, since this is fully clockable, I can easily loosen these back up when it's actually in the car. And if uh, the, uh, say the intercooler doesn't bolt onto here, or the intake, well the intake's gonna be just fine, but say the intercooler piping, charge piping doesn't bolt onto that, well, it's gonna be just fine. Let's get this baby in here. I'm so excited. I'm hoping I can get this thing in here the same way, or similar, okay, yeah. Oh, it's definitely going in really nice. Oh, that's so sick, that's perfect. It's on! <gasps> no way! Oh my goodness! It's actually there! I don't want to let this go because I don't want to mess up any studs, but <laughs> it's actually on! And I definitely still need to clock it big time. But wow! Wow! I'm so excited! Puppy! Come here, bud. You're so sweet. Look at this sweet puppy. Don't lick my arms because they're they're pretty disgusting right now. You want to see the turbo? It's in. Yeah. It is finally in. You gotta, you gotta kind of look over. It's right here. Bouncing? Yeah. <gasps> wow. That looks so big in there. It's a. It's <laughs> another one. That is a big boy. So we got it. It is in there. It mounts up. I've got it clocked. Probably about as close as it's gonna possibly get. I'm gonna have to clear out some lines and stuff like that so I can make sure the intake fits. But man, that means now I can do, I can mount the intercooler, I can run lines, I can mount the intake, I can literally do everything. That was my final step. I don't know why I'm still wearing these. I look like a doof. All I have to do, the turbo's in, so now I can literally mount everything. I can plumb everything. I've gotta figure out what all lines go where, but I'm gonna have my friends help me with that, because I am dumb. I, I also wanted to test out and see how the intake portion fit onto the turbo today, and it fits really well. I haven't actually tied it in there yet. So I've got the intake, the math sensor up top, and then I've got the actual intake filter. But I've also got, they sent me this intake cover, which is actually pretty sick looking. It's gonna go right there, and then that is gonna go right on to there. And voila. The badassness. <laughs> so sick. Look at look at the girth of this thing. The thing is massive. God, this is a. Uh, it's just looking better and better day by day. It's starting to look like an actual turbo kit. You know, like you look at it from when I started. You get the fuel rail. The whole fuel system is done. The old valve cover is off. You get the MA performance thing. Obviously, the the freaking manifold is honestly what gets me. You get the massive turbo down there, and then I'm gonna have stuff coming out to out of and into the turbo. And then obviously I got the new intake and that is just, man, this is just gonna look so, so tight. And I'm just so excited to have this thing done. Huge shouts to my sponsors again. MA Performance, Comp Turbo, Deech Works, and Action Clutch. All of you guys, I thank you so much for, for helping me on this, it's awesome. I actually, so, so I haven't bolted up the turbo quite yet, like not fully, just in case I have to take it off for any reason. Now I just play a waiting game for UPS. Like I said, they, I don't know what it is about UPS, but they are always are so late, even though I'm an LLC and they're supposed to deliver to me. Early. Now it's time to play the waiting game. Let's wait around and see if they sent me the right size flange. Clutch, you literally smooched this camera. It is, eight o'clock and UPS is still not shown up. So I am unfortunately not gonna be able to see if the V-band is the right size tonight. Hoping that this actually gets here tonight. It should, UPS, on you, it's happened before. Assuming this gets here tonight, you'll know first thing tomorrow, I'm really hoping it is. If not, I'll just, I can try and find a new size and it should be here by the time I get back from New York. But I was hoping to get that done tonight and actually drop it off. But tomorrow that's gonna happen for sure. I think either tomorrow or they're gonna do some exhaust work on the Porsche or finish the plumbing on the turbo with some friends and maybe even finish the turbo build. So we'll see. We're gonna try and grind it out and work really hard. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. We're so close. We are getting there. Peace out, boys. And remember, be victorious.